Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Survival Russia. <laughs> we are in the forest as you can see. We're in a part of a forest I've not been in I think more than a year actually. But that's uh, quite normal sometimes. You know, you are more active in one part of the forest than the other. But uh, this is the trail up to the uh, trail train up to the the old campsite. As I've not been there for a long time. There's a lot of fallen trees. There's a lot of I can see there's been a lot of activity. Uh, I don't know if it's humans or not, we'll find out. But anyway, let's head up to the camp and let's see what's going on because, uh, as I said, I've not been there for a really long time. Anyway, today we of course are also going to take a look at, surprise, surprise, some uh, traditional Siberian bushcraft, which is, uh, surprise, surprise, really awesome. Oh, it looks like we have a fallen pine here. That is also awesome. <laughs> we have the good old campsite. And the good old shelter, still standing, still standing strong, of course, most likely one of the best shelters you can ever make, if you have uh, heavy snow and all that good stuff, because this guy here, this most likely been standing for like five years or at least four, I don't remember, so four or five years, awesome. Since it's a little bit dark over at the shelter, then uh, let's just sit here. Why not? This is awesome pines. But that's a different story. Today we're gonna take a look at some uh, traditional Siberian bushcraft with a hell of a lot of the uh, different possibilities and ways to make things much, much easier and actually use these methods here while we are camping, also off camera, of course. You've seen some of you have seen this in use of course but some of you haven't it's really awesome and before we start make sure you're subscribed and hit the like button and all that good stuff and if you want to support the now completely demonetized uh, outdoors channel here from russia then you can do that in the links and in the pinned comments there's subscribe star there's boosty the international and secure platforms so uh, if you want to go the extra mile help out the channel then please do so because we're not earning anything on that, so this is not commercial or anything like that. Anyway, these guys here, they are very awesome. <laughs> and before you think, ah, what the hell is going on here, then just hang on, I'll show you all those different kinds of awesomeness these uh, can provide. But first of all, I want to show you how to actually make them. And that's also very easy. I mean, I made these two here on the way, I just attach them uh, to my small knife here and uh, yeah I lost one of them but I returned so I turned around and found it. <laughs> we have some different saplings here. This is willow, willow the bush. Say hello to willow the bush. I just start to bend these guys a little bit. Saplings are of course great because they don't break I say and then this guy here will break because we're on camera. And stuff like that happens. So that's uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start at the thicker end here. I say this is a Siberian native uh, way they use it for all sorts of stuff, cooking stands and so on. But we can use them for a hell of a lot of other stuff. And they of course also do that. Yeah, it broke, but doesn't really matter. We'll try and make it with this anyway. It's also a little bit of a thicker end. And we're gonna try and make it with the other guys as well. Of course, some of you guys know what is coming. This is not even a really strong one I can see. 
it has quite a few bends in it. It's not so good this one actually. But anyway, we'll use it. Even it's not that nice as this one here for example. This one you will not pull apart. This one here we will also not pull apart because they have a tendency to uh, lock up on themselves, which is of course very very nice. So we made another one. If we want to reinforce them or anything like that, we can just take some thinner ones and weave them into this uh, ring here. Start from where we ended and do it once again. And they'll be very strong. I mean, this is broken here and so on, but... It's good stuff. So now we have five rings, let's go and uh, let's take a look at what we can actually use them for. So let's say we want to set up a camp here, and excuse me the sound, there's no mics for this camera. But let's say we want to set up a camp, fast camp, over here. We want to make some uh, fire, we want to cook some food, we want to possibly dry our clothes or whatnot, right? This is where these rings here can come in very, very handy. And this whole setup here is actually a Siberian native uh, way of uh, making cooking stands, shelter stands, we'll get back to that. Uh, but let's see how it goes. But here we have two rings. We'll add. Here we have a forked branch already. But it's not important, because we of course have cut our own forked branches. I can promise you, if you don't know these techniques here, then uh, this will make your life in the woods a hell of a lot easier. Three rings, doesn't have to be three rings, but we have them, so why not? So now it looks like this, we have something over there as well, right? These branches here, they will not go anywhere. If uh, this could hold my weight, I could actually do some pull-ups here. <laughs> but uh, I'm not gonna do that. But it's pretty awesome. So it can carry a lot of weight, and these guys here can carry a lot of weight. Actually, this reminds me a little bit about uh, an outdoors uh, kind of a fitness center. We can do inverted rows here as well. <laughs> anyway, that's not what we're here for. Why this is so fast is it doesn't really matter to adjust the length of the, the forks. Uh, I specially made like a shorter one here and one here there, which is very much longer than that one. Here we just had a V or a fork tree that we could use anyway. We have another one up there of course. And we have a fork and a pine. This doesn't look like that thick because uh, on, the, on the action cams everything looks uh, much thinner than it actually is. Including me! <laughs> but anyway, what can we use this stuff here for? We can of course make our fire here. We can cook. We can use this for water whatever what we are cooking. We can use that one for uh, keeping whatever we have made, uh, warm water, whatever, to just hang it out here on the edge so it will keep warm but not boil and uh, evaporate completely. This one here we can do something very tricky with. We can actually, we have, uh, as I said, a lot of different possibilities with the, this setup because it's so simple and it can be used for everything. It should be obvious by now that we could, in another location of course, or in another setup, we could use this simply as a setup for a very fast shelter, just with a plastic sheet or something like this, right? Just throw it over some guidelines and that's it. 
So what we can do is, we can actually make a drying rack for drying clothes. It doesn't have to be rainy and cold, it can also be very very hot. I actually did that on the fishing trip. Alright guys, so we got three pike so far on these uh, funky traps. You can call them survival traps if you want. Very small, minimum. And this is about a little bit more than a kilo or something like this, two pounds plus. Not bad. And we can make a multiple uh, drying rack. And we of course always carry some steel wire. I brought this from the camp of course. And as I said in my basic videos, multi-tool is always useful. Even if it's a multi-tool. <laughs> so, what do we have here? We have something here, we can hang our socks, undies and whatnot from. Here we can hang sweatshirts, t-shirts, whatever we want to dry really. If we have some fish we want to dry, we can dry fish from this. We can put this bar here much higher up and just extend this in like a ladder pattern or what we can call it. And dry clothes, as I say, I actually did this and I actually came up with this, I think anyway, <laughs> myself. I don't know if natives they are using it for this, but they are thinking, hey, the rings, because at the camp there, we of course have steel wire and so on. We always have steel wire at the camp and in the pack and so on. And uh, this actually works extremely well for drying clothes. Of course, if your fire is over there and you are cooking, there's going to be some radiated heat over here. <clears throat> if we want to, we could make another small fire here if our clothes are really, really, really problematically wet and dry it there. But the thing with drying clothes is we never want it too close to the fire and we don't want to stand with our t-shirts for half an hour and dry it out and so on. It's much easier to just hang it in the sun and a little bit of a fire and it'll dry out in an hour or something while we're cooking, making tea and uh, whatnot. And as the really smart ones of you guys have found out, you can hang all sorts of stuff for this, right? It's very, very fast to make a hanger, a hanging system for your backpacks and coats or sleeping bags, whatnot. And we could take one of these rings there, take this guy, hook up a fast little tripod, and then we could uh, dry our clothes here, close to that fire, as I said. Cook from the other side of the fire. And we could slide this bar here a little bit like this and like that. And we can make it higher up and the socks down there and the t-shirts and trousers up here. The possibilities are endless, as I said, principally. We can do all sorts of stuff with this, and only your imagination will uh, be the limit to what you can use for this for in the woods. And it's very, very fast. And the materials we have everywhere. I mean, we can use paracord or whatever instead of the steel wire. The steel wire is just easier to work with, as I always say. That's why it's really awesome to carry. We could just cut some longer uh, forked branches and put one up there, two over there, and cut a shorter one down there, down there, light a fire. And our stuff will dry out, sleeping bags on top, and this and this and that, and socks and stuff on, on below. Whatever we would prefer, right? <laughs> so before we leave, let me show you my old setup here. You can see here I've been wrapping some uh, bark around them. These rings here, these are old. I think they're even stronger than when I made them, maybe not. But they are still strong. We have another one over here. These are much, much more heavy duty, of course. But, let's see, ah, it's the branch breaking. These are very strong, guys. Bank line, tripod, as I say, possibilities are endless with this system there. 
einfach super awesome ist, as you can see, that we can just slide this easily over the fire, slide it out just where we want it. We can regulate it on millimeters basically. It's a really cool system. And that's just what I wanted to share with you guys today. So I think we're just gonna head on out of here. And uh, yeah, nothing much more to say that uh, thank you for watching this little video and uh, please consider supporting the channel. Links in the description and the pinned comment for that. And until next time guys, get out on train, get it done, do something awesome, do something nice. And uh, see you in the next one guys. Thank you very much for your time. And then we're of course gonna have to figure out what are we gonna do with these two big old pines because there is a lot of wood here.